and welcome to Miss Bailey's Daily Dose. Today we are going to be learning to describe the properties of 2D shapes. So before we start looking at the properties of 2D shapes, we're going to have a little look at whether we can remember their names. So let's have a little look. Circle. See what you can say it. Circle. What do you think that one is? Can you remember? Semicircle. So half of that circle. A semicircle. Triangle. Square. Rectangle. One, two, three, four, five. So if it's got five vertices and five sides, it's a pentagon. Pentagon. If it's got six, remember that X, which is in hexagon, hexagon. Now we've got seven that reminds us it sort of sounds like hexagon, but we say heptagon, heptagon with our seven. And our final one, our eight vertices and eight sides, like our octopus, octagon, octagon. So now we've remembered the names of those 2D shapes, we're going to see whether we can describe them using the properties. So we describe the properties of 2D shapes using vertices, which is a number of corners or one vertex and sides. So we're going to be able to identify different 2D shapes using the number of vertices they've got and the number of sides that they've got. So you can see here, vertices are the same as corners. So they join two sides together. So you can see here, this blue side, and the green side joined to make a vertex, the blue side and the red side joined together to make a vertex, the red side the green side joined together to make a vertex. If a shape has more than one vertex, we call it vertices, so it's plural, so it might have five vertices like a pentagon. And then we have the sides. So the sides can be straight, like in a square, or a rectangle, but they can also be curved, like in a circle. So you can see here that a circle has one curved side, and you can see here that a square has one, two, three, four straight sides. So if we look at the sides first, whether they're curved, like a ball, or whether they're straight, like a straight piece of paper or a straight line, you can see that a circle has one curved side. So one curved side. And because it only has one side, it has no vertices because a vertex, which is one of those corners, comes together when two sides meet. And because it's only got one side, one curved side, we know there are no vertices on a circle. So our circle has one curved side. Now we've got our semicircles. This one's slightly different. We can see here that it has one curved side, so just like the circle. So it has one curved side. But it also has one straight side. So if I show that in a different colour, you can see here, one straight side. So one add one is two. So we know that a semicircle has two, si oh, two sides. And then in a different colour, we can have a little look at the vertices. So we've got one here and we've got one here. So there are two vertices. Because it's plural, two vertices. Sorry, my rubber doesn't want to seem to work. So it's got two vertices. Semicircle. And then if we have a look at our triangle, now we know that tri means three. So if we have a look at a triangle, I'm sure that we can find out that it's got three vertices and three sides. So we'll look at the sides first. So the sides are straight and we have one, two, three sides. So there are three sides and there are three vertices. And we can see them just here. One, two, three. So 
has three sides and three vertices. Now we've got a square. So again, we're looking at the sides and we're thinking, are they curved or are they straight? Nice and straight. So we can count those. So we've got one, two, three, four. So four sides, which are all straight. And then using another colour, we can have a little look at the vertices. So remember they're the corners. So one, two, three, four. So four sides, four vertices. See whether you can find the pattern in the number of sides and the number of vertices. So for example, when we did the triangle, it has three sides and three vertices. Now in the square, it has four sides and four vertices. Let's have a little look at the rectangle. So we'll do the sides first. One, two, three, four. And again, we'll do the vertices. One, two, three, four. Hopefully you can see the pattern that in these shapes, they have the same number of sides as they do vertices. So it has four sides, which are straight, and four vertices. Now, the reason why a lot of children get mixed up between a rectangle and a square is because they have the same properties. So they have the same number of sides and the same number of vertices, four of each. However, the thing that's different is that on a square, all those four sides are equal. That means the same size. Whereas on a rectangle, there are two sides that are long and two sides that are short, so they're not equal. That's where the difference comes in. Now we've got our pentagon. Remember before, we helped remember this by holding our pen, and we know it has five of those sides and five vertices. So one, two, three, four, five. We know if it has five sides, it will have the same number of vertices. And then we can check that, just to make sure. So one, two, three, four, five. Now we've got a hexagon. So again, let's have a little look at the sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got six sides, and we describe those sides as straight sides. There's no curves. And then vertices, one, two, three, four, five, six. And it has six vertices. So you can see there's the pattern here. So you've got six sides and six vertices. Our square had four sides and four vertices. Our triangle has three sides and three vertices. And now we have our heptagon. So again, we're looking at the sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven sides that are straight. And we do exactly the same thing each time. Do the sides first, and then you'll be able to see those vertices. Remember those vertices are the same as the corners. And we can go all the way around. And again, it has seven vertices. And our final one, our octagon. We'll do the sides first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then our vertices. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it has eight sides that are straight and eight vertices. So that's how we use the properties of shapes to identify them using their vertices and their sides. Now, if I skip this bit, I'm going to see whether you can name that shape. So what shape am I? I have four sides. That's all we know so far. I have four vertices. I have two long sides. I have two short sides. So you're thinking of a shape. It has four sides, two that are long, two that are shorter, and four vertices. So thinking through your shapes, your triangle, circle, semicircle, square, rectangle, triangle, pentagon, hexagon, heptagon, octagon, sorry if I've said some of those twice, 
think about which shape you think it is. And if you can, you can either write the name of that shape or you could draw it. So if I was thinking this shape, I might think, mm, if it has four vertices, I know it can't be a triangle because triangle's only got three. I know it's not gonna be a pentagon because a pentagon's got five. I know it's not gonna be a circle because a circle has no vertices. Definitely not gonna be a semicircle because a semicircle's only got two vertices. So it's got to be one of the shapes that has four vertices, which is a square or a rectangle. Now it says it has two long sides and two short. Well, I know that a square's sides are all exactly the same length, so it must be a rectangle. There we go. So our shape was a rectangle. Let's try the next one. So what shape am I? All of my sides are straight, so no curves. So it can't be a circle, can't be a semicircle. I have three vertices. I have three sides. So again, I'm thinking back through my shapes. Know that it can't be a semicircle or a circle because they've got curved sides. And this one, so it has straight sides. It has three vertices. So I'm thinking of a shape that has three vertices and three straight sides. See if you can remember what you think that is. Three vertices, three straight sides. Let's see whether you're right. I am a triangle. So you can see it's got three vertices and then three straight sides. Triangle. Next one, what shape am I? I have one curved side. I have no vertices. This time I'm thinking of a shape that's got a curved side in one of them. So I'm thinking about all the shapes that don't have curved sides, like a square, a rectangle, triangle, pentagon, hexagon, heptagon, octagon, all have straight sides. So I can decide between a semicircle and a circle, because I know they both have a curved side. But it says it has no vertices. Well, I know that a semicircle has two vertices, one, two, on the ends. So it's got to be a circle. So well done if you got that one right. Final one. I have four sides. I have four vertices. All of my sides are the same length. And I remember earlier we had a similar one, four sides, four vertices, but two long sides and two short sides. So think about your shape that has four vertices, four sides that are all equal in length. They're all the same length. See whether you can remember what you think that shape is and see whether you're right. I am a square. So what you can do now with the link below is you can circle around the shapes showing their vertices and their size, just like we've done here. So if I give you an example of how we would be doing it. If you imagine you've got a chart here and it might say sides and vertex slash vertices. You want to put the number, so how many sides is this shape got? How many vertices is this shape got? So I might want to name it first. So say if I do this one, I'm going to name it as a square. And then I can circle and number the sides. So if I do the sides first, I'll do those in a black colour, just so you can see. So one, two, three, four, and then I can circle the vertices. One, two, three, four. So for sides, I can put a big number four, and for vertex slash vertices, I can put a big number four, just like so. Then I could do another one to see if I've got this one this time might need to name it. So I'm looking at the shape, I'm thinking, oh, I know what it is. It's a triangle. Again, I can use my black pen to draw those sides in. And this will really help the children to actually physically be able to see them. So I can see it's got one, two, three sides. And then drawing the corners on really helps as well. So if I draw the corners on, one, two, three. I can see it's got three vertices or corners, just like that. So see whether you can have a go now at naming the properties and naming those shapes using your vertices and your knowledge of your sides. Thank you.